Is being gay a sin? Or is being attracted to the same sex a sin? Being attracted to the same sex is not a sin. Having sexual relations with the same sex is a sin if you are a soul that wants to walk in the light of the Messiah, Yahusha. If you don't care about walking in the light, you can do whatever you want. So this is not a hate video. This is a information video for people who are aware that they are a soul living inside of a human avatar and they need to defeat the darkness no matter what the human avatar is lusting for or is seeking for, for entertainment or sexual um, experiences or for lust of riches and things like that. The soul must reject all of the things that are promoted to us from Satan from multiple cultures. That seem to be okay because millions of people are part of those cultures, but they are not okay. Being a, being a stripper is not okay. Being a porn star is not okay, but there's so many millions of porn stars and strippers and people who like watching porn and people who like going to strip clubs. People think it's okay to be a stripper and to be a porn star, but it's not. It's immoral and unclean. And since we have the rights to do whatever we want, except hurt people, it's not against the law to be a stripper or a porn star, but it's against the instructions that your soul must follow in order to be let out of hell after judgment. So, so, it is not a sin to be attracted to the same sex. So, if you see a, if you're a man and you see a man walking down the street and he's handsome and in your head you say, wow, that's a very attractive man. That's not a sin. But to look at that man and start having sexual thoughts about you and that man together, that's a sin. That's sexual lust. The same as if a man sees a woman that he's not married to and he thinks that she's hot or fine. He can say, man, she is beautiful and she has a nice body. But to lust for her and start thinking about sexual things with her, that's a sin. The sin is to lust for a human or an animal. Or to have sexual relationships with a human or an animal that you are not married to. You can only marry the opposite sex. And you can only have sex with the person you're married to. If you want to be a soul that's considered clean by Yahuwah and Yahusha. If you want to be unclean and live in the darkness and don't care about the light and don't care about your soul. Fine. This information is for people who want to cleanse from the darkness, defeat Satan, escape hell and live on a new earth. The people who want to defeat the Illuminati who control this wicked world. The people who want to live on an earth that's not wicked and lustful and evil and unclean and blind. So, again, this is not a hate video about gay people or bisexual people or transgender people or straight people who are immoral. So, before I awakened in 2017, I lived a life as a bisexual. I have had girlfriends and I have had boyfriends and I was engaged to a lady, Betsy Martinez, when I was 19 years old. So I have been in love with the woman before and I have not been in love with a man, but I, I, loved, I loved everybody that I was with. I loved them as a person first and then I fell, in, fell out of love with all of them because they were all crazy, the girls and the guys. But I was living as a spy to learn what the darkness is all about. And I didn't need to live as a spy after pretty much fall of 2016. So by 2027, I mean, by 2017, January, I was already seeking the light. And now it's 2020 and I've learned who I am. And I can judge humbly and tell people to cleanse from certain lifestyles because I've lived the lifestyle. So that's what this video is about. If you wanna be a person who cleans from the darkness and not be immoral sexually, I'm here to help you. So people who say they follow the Bible, they call gay people sinners and that gay people are going to go to hell and that gay people are the only ones that are sinners. But they're lying because most likely they're living an immoral life and they're having sexual relationships with a woman or a man and they're not married to them. Or else they're eating pork or celebrating Illuminati holidays. Everybody needs to focus on themselves instead of pointing the fingers at other people because a lot of gay people don't even like being gay. They hate the fact that they're gay. 
and telling them they're going to hell for it doesn't really help them in any way. If you're going to be using the Bible, you're supposed to use it to help people cleanse from the darkness no matter what lifestyle they're living in because the Bible says there's only one unforgivable sin. So if the Bible says there's only one unforgivable sin, which is speaking negative against the Holy Spirit, that means no matter what lifestyle you were living before before you learned about the light, if you cleanse from the darkness and reject your past, you can be forgiven. So it doesn't matter what any Christian or any person who claims to be following the Bible says. They are a liar, and since they're lying and promoting hate, they're going to get stuck in hell. So it is not a sin for you to be attracted to somebody of the same sex. It is a sin for you to lust for them or have sexual relationships with them. It is not against the Bible to think a dog is beautiful. So many people think dogs are gorgeous and beautiful, but you're not supposed to have sex with the dog. But there are hundreds and thousands of people who have sex with dogs. It's called bestiality. There are people who have sex with dogs, goats, pigs, horses, all kinds of things. And it's legal in Europe and it's legal in some states in the United States. I don't think they have banned it in every state in the United States yet. All you got to do is Google it. It's all called bestiality. And in the 613 laws from Yahweh, it says man must not have sex with animals. But it also say, don't have sex with your dad, and don't have sex with your mom, and don't have sex with your sister, and don't have sex with your brother, and don't have sex with your aunt, and don't have sex with your uncle. And fathers shouldn't have sex with their daughter-in-laws, and mothers shouldn't have sex with their son-in-laws. So the 613 laws has sex laws for everybody. It doesn't say nothing only about gay people. The 613 laws does not say you must not be attracted to a person of the same sex. It doesn't say a man must not be attracted to another man. A woman must not be attracted to another woman. It says a man must not lay down with another man as he does with a woman. But a man is also not supposed to lay down with a woman unless he's married to her. But a man is not supposed to lay down with a woman if she is his aunt or if she is his daughter-in-law. That's all in the 613 laws. So people trying to focus on gay, they aren't telling you the full truth. And they need to focus on themselves if they're not going to be telling the whole truth. They need to be saying, no matter if you're gay, straight, bi, or transgender, if you want to live forever on the new earth, you must cleanse from all immoral lifestyles and all unclean living. And then you explain what all unclean lifestyles are and what all unclean living is. You don't go after a particular culture of people because every culture on this earth was created by Satan and the Illuminati, the darkness. Even the Hebrew camps are part of the darkness because they don't share the light. They share hate and revenge and pride. And they talk very negative about Hebrew women. And they are not forgiven towards Edomite people who are white people or Europeans. When the Bible in the 613 laws of Yahuwah or Yahweh says do not abhor or do not hate the Edomite because he is your brother. So... Everybody needs to focus on walking in the light on the narrow path instead of pointing fingers at people. Instead of pointing fingers, tell everybody how they can personally cleanse from the darkness and walk in the light of Yahuwah and Yahusha. Why are there straight people, bi people, gay people, and transgender people? First of all, we are all souls living inside of human avatars. So none of us are gay, straight, bi, or transgender. We're souls inside of avatars that are hermaphrodites. But some of them hermaphrodite avatars are not 50-50 X and Y gene. Some have less Y gene. Some have less X gene, which causes an imbalance in their sexuality of their avatar which causes gay, straight, bi, and transgender. Let's go deeper. There's three different categories that you must also remember. Attraction, lust, and then sexual actions. Attraction is not a sin. Lust is a sin and sexual actions are a sin. If you are not married to the person and the person has to be of the opposite sex. 
there are couples that are good looking. Holly Berry is a beautiful woman and her ex-boyfriend, the father of her daughter, is a very handsome man. But to lust for either of them is a sin because you're not married to her if you're a man and you're not married to him if you're a woman. So lusting for them, thinking about them sexually, dreaming about them in your mind, having sex with them, that's a sin. And to have sex with either of them if you are not married to them is a sin, whether you're straight, bi, gay, or transgender. So again, there's three different categories, attraction, lust, and the sexual act. Lust and the sexual act is a sin, but the attraction is not a sin. You're just noticing something that's been created and that it's beautiful or handsome, but you aren't supposed to lust for it and you aren't supposed to seek sexual desires with it. Now, what has Hollywood done to confuse the lines? They have a ritual of making men in Hollywood dress as females. They do it with the white or Edomite actors and they do it with the black American Hebrew actors. But it's a ritual to force black American Hebrews to do whatever they are told to become rich, famous, and powerful. But they will never be more powerful than the person who had them dress as a female, even though they claim to be straight males. Gay for pay. And then you also have wicked people who attack gay men. I don't really see lesbians getting attacked. But gay men or transsexuals get attacked and murdered for living their life or being honest about who they are. A lot of times they are very flamboyant, so hiding, they don't hide in the closet about who they are. But no sh nobody should be putting their hands on anybody if they haven't put their hands on you or if they haven't stolen your money or done anything to you. Let them live their life. And leave all judgment to unbegotten father. If you don't like the way somebody lives their life, that has nothing to do with you. Mind your own business. If they are a friend of yours or somebody that follows you on Facebook or YouTube, you don't attack them verbally or call them names or say they're going to hell. You encourage them to walk in the light. The light is for anybody of any culture to turn to by and reject the darkness if you're of the light you aren't supposed to be hating on anybody or judging anybody calling them names which can cause them to go into a deeper depression you're supposed to be helping them escape the darkness by sharing the light and for each person and every culture there's a different path they have to take to cleanse and then walk in the light the light is available for anybody who wants to escape the darkness and the wickedness and the evil of this current earth to live on the new earth. Nobody except me breaks down why there are straight people, supposedly straight people, because there's a lot of people in a closet being bisexual. So most people are not even straight. They just don't tell the truth because they're scared about being talked about. So. I break down why there are straight people, bisexual people, gay people, transgender people. And I back up everything I share. There are babies who are born hermaphrodite, half male, half female. And all babies start off as a female. The clitoris is a small penis. So when a baby is first born, it has a clitoris. If it continues to grow, it turns into a penis. If a woman does um, steroids and is a bodybuilder, her clitoris will turn into a a penis, a small penis that's smaller than your thumb, but the steroids cause it to grow into a more masculine looking sex organ. But it is a small penis. Also, a lot of women will rub that area for, um, for um, stimulation, just like a man will stroke his penis for stimulation, sexual stimulation. So, the Nag Hammadi explaining how King Yahusha and Queen 
Queen Wisdom are half male, half female. As you can see here, the hembre is what a regular vagina will look like if the baby female has 50% X gene and 50% Y gene. But if things get imbalanced, it can become intersexual, which is a hermaphrodite. And hermaphrodite has a penis and a vagina. But if it becomes fully male, the vagina will close, as you see in the macho picture. One out of 1,500 to 2,000 births, there's a hermaphrodite baby born. A baby with a penis and a vagina. And the parents must make the decision if they're going to have the baby grow up as a female or a male. So the doctor will close the vagina if the parents choose to make the hermaphrodite baby a male. And if the parents decide to make the baby a female, I don't know what they do with the penis. I don't know if they surgically remove it or not. But if they choose to make the hermaphrodite a male and close the vagina, the male can end up having moobs, which are male boobs. They call male boobs, aka moobs, gani gamasha. And it's often referred to as man boobs. It's enlarged enlargement of male breast tissue and can happen in males of any age or weight. Obese men sometimes appear to have man boobs due to the fat tissue all over their bodies, including their breast. But this is not true gynecomasia. Gynecomasia or gynecomasia is very common in boys going through pu um, puberty. Occurring in more than half of all normal adolescent boys. But resolving itself in most cases. In older men, enlargement of breast tissue happens in one to two thirds of men. That's a lot of people. That's 33% to um, 66%. But what causes... 33% to 66% of male boys, teenagers, to grow breast. All men have the male sex hormone testosterone as well as a low level of female hormone estrogen which controls breast tissue growth. When the testosterone to estrogen ratio changes Favoring relatively higher amounts of estrogen, breast, tissue, breast tissues can grow. 60 to 90% of newborn male babies have enlarged breast tissue because of the transfer of estrogen from the mother during pregnancy. As these high levels of estrogen disappear at birth, this type of gynecomasia is only temporary. So, as I said, a lot of babies... They don't get rid of all of their mom's X gene and get enough of their dad's Y gene, which will cause some babies to be bisexual, some to be gay, and some to be totally transgender. So, if a baby boy doesn't get rid of enough of his mom's X gene after he's born and only develops um, 35% of his dad's Y gene, he's going to be bisexual because his X and Y gene are not imbalanced. If a baby boy does not get rid of enough of his mom's X gene and only develops 25% of his dad's Y gene, that baby's going to end up gay because he has feelings for men from his mom's estrogen because all babies are part of their mom and part of their dad, hermaphrodite. But if the baby boy doesn't get rid of all of his mom's estrogen or X gene and only develops 15% of his dad's Y gene, the baby may look like a male, but on the inside, he feels female, which is why a lot of young boys say they feel like a girl.
And their parents are like, what's wrong with my little boy? He says he's a girl. It's because he has 85% of his mom's X gene in his body and only a small percentage of his dad's Y gene. But the Illuminati are the ones who created the sex changing. And by having a sex change, that becomes a sin because the Bible laws says at Deuteronomy 23, 1, no one who has been emasculated by crushing or cutting may enter the assembly of King Yahuwah or King Yahusha. So that means if you cut off your penis to become a woman, emasculated, that means to be less masculine, that's a sin. But there's only one unforgivable sin. But I don't know how a transgender who's gone through an Illuminati surgery can be forgiven and cleansed from their darkness. But there's always a way if you beg and forget, beg for forgiveness and cleanse from your past. So the reason why there are gay, straight, bi and transgender people is because all babies start off as a girl and then if the clitoris grows into a penis after three three months that's when the doctors will do the um sonogram or whatever it's called and tell you the sex of your baby they can't tell you ahead of time because the clitoris has to grow into a penis or not so that's more proof that at first they can't tell what your baby's sex is because at first they all start off as a girl. So since all human babies start off as a girl and millions or billions of them become boys, that's more proof that we are hermaphrodites, half male, half female. But you're half of your dad and you're half of your mom. But some have too much of their mom's X gene, but they look like a male, which will act, cause them to look like a male who acts feminine. And some females will have too much of their dad's Y gene, which will cause them to act masculine. So, and if a female cuts off all of her hair and wears no makeup, she can easily look like a male because she has a lot of her dad's Y gene, testosterone. So none of us were in control of how we were born. We weren't in control of if we had a lot of X gene or enough Y gene in our body. And unbegotten father, the almighty creator, and Yahusha and Queen Wisdom and King Yahua, they all knew that Satan and the darkness was going to mix things up with cultures to cause confusion and chaos and lust. So that's why no matter if you're straight, bi, gay, or transgender, the Illuminati promotes sexual cultures to us through strip clubs and porn and TV shows and music. They promote so much sex to us and so many people partake in it to where it seemed like it's okay if you reject the Bible. If you're not seeking the light because you can't find it and it just seems like it's so much fun living in the darkness. When I lived in the club scene and in the sex culture, it was fun because I didn't know that I was partaking in the darkness. And I didn't know the light. Some people want to partake in the darkness. They're not interested in the light. But the light is what will give you gifts. And the best gift any person on this earth would want is to be able to live in a place where they don't have to worry about people hating on them, people trying to kill them, people trying to rob them, people trying to manipulate them, people hurting children, um, where there's wars, where there's diseases. We would all love to live in a place like that, where there's no racism, where there's no prejudice, where there's no government that provides food for us that's unhealthy and makes good healthy food expensive where it's very expensive to get medication for your illness that the government and the rich companies from the Illuminati have created. Everybody would love to live on the earth like that, but they're not willing to give up all of the things they partake in, which will prevent them from being able to live on that new earth. That's the new earth after Satan is tossed into the abyss. So it doesn't matter if you're straight, bi, gay or transgender. All of us need to reject every lifestyle and culture that Satan is promoting to us because 
Here's the jackpot information. You're not a human. You're the soul inside of the human avatar. We're souls. So none of us are straight, gay, bi, or transgender. We're souls inside of avatars. The avatars are straight, bi, gay, and transgender. We're the souls inside that need to control the avatar. So you are a soul inside of a human avatar. You are not the human. You're the soul inside of the human. And the movie Get Out, Being John Malkovich, and Skeleton Key are about souls who didn't protect their avatar and demons took over the avatar and put their soul into the sunken place where the soul has no power. Now the movie The Matrix is talking about how all of us on earth who are addicted to Satan's lifestyles and not seeking the light, we're stuck in the matrix. We're stuck in the womb. That's the womb in the matrix, the movie. The womb represents Sophia. But most people want to stay in the matrix. They don't want to give up all the lifestyles and all the riches. So Keanu Reeves, he was pulled out of the womb of the matrix. The matrix of Sophia. Sophia is Queen Wisdom. This earth was created by her wicked defect. So this earth was created by a demon, God of Darkness, Yal the Baoth. And he created Adam, the first human avatar. Meaning, Adam is a demon, created by a demon named God of Darkness. The defect of Queen Wisdom, Sophia. And we are in the matrix of Sophia. We are in her defect. In the movie, The Matrix, Keanu Reeves, when he's being pulled out of that thing with all this slime, <clears throat> he's being pulled out of the womb of the Matrix of Sophia and being brought into the light. So we are in the Matrix of Sophia and Sophia is Queen Wisdom, King Yahusha's twin sister, the Messiah. Okay. Now, we are in her matrix, her defect. If, if you look at this um, chart that I created, the defect is down below this black line. The defect is God of Darkness, Yal the Bayoff. Yal the Bayoff is Satan's father. Yal the Bayoff created Earth and he created Adam. So, Adam was created by a demon and this Earth was created by a demon. And the demon is Yal the Bayoff, God of Darkness. But he is also the father of Yahuwah who Jehovah's Witnesses call Jehovah and who people, who Christians call God. Yahuwah is a demon who rejected his father, God of darkness, and his brother, Satan. Satan is Yahuwah's brother. Yahuwah rejected God of darkness and Satan and the rest of the demons of the darkness who created Adam when he learned that Queen Wisdom, his grandmother and his king uncle, King Yahusha and his grandfather, great grandfather, unbegotten father existed. And Queen Wisdom pulled him out of the six heavens of chaos up into the light. And then Yahuwah created the chosen bloodline, the 12 tribes of Israel or Yasharel. And he created a clone of his king uncle, King Yahusha. And he created a clone of Princess Sophia Zoe, who is the Ruach Holy Spirit, the perfect female virgin angel. And you will not learn this information in the Bible because the Catholic Illuminati and the Islamic Illuminati don't want their followers to learn the truth. So the information is only in the Nag Hammadi, but the Catholic Illuminati, they say the Nag Hammadi information is fairy tale because they follow Satan. So the Christians who claim to follow the Bible, they all pray to an image of a white prince named Caesar Borgia, but the Illuminati created a name Jesus and this image making all the people think that this is the Messiah and all the Christians pray to this man who is actually representation of Satan from the Borgia family, Caesar Borgia. And you could watch his movie or TV show on Netflix or Amazon Prime. So if anybody is Christian, they're going to hell because they worship Satan. Christians have no idea that they are worshiping the image of Satan because Cesar Borgia is 
who the image of white Jesus is. And the Messiah's name is not Jesus. The Catholic Illuminati created the name, the letter J in 1524 and created the letter J and forced people to pray to the image using the name Jesus to trick people. But they also don't tell people the full truth and they mislead people and taught Christians to say that gay people are creating an abomination when eating pork and eating crab and lobster and shrimp and prawns prawns and going to church on Sunday and praying to the false image of the Messiah, white Jesus, and going and not doing the Sabbath, that's all abomination. And the Messiah, the true Messiah, Yahusha, at Matthew 22, verse 37 through 40 said, love all beings as you love yourself. So they're not supposed to be talking negative about gay people. They are so supposed to be sharing the sex laws for everybody so that all avatars or all souls that are living in avatars can cling from the darkness, whether they're straight, gay, bi, or transgender. That's how you defeat Satan and not be caught up in the womb of the matrix of Sophia. If you, the soul living inside of a human avatar in 2020, does not get your avatar to reject all cultures on this earth in 2020, you cannot escape the matrix of Sophia. So when you when your human avatar dies, unclean, you the soul, you're going to get stuck in hell. Because when we all face judgment in hell, which you will find the information from Revelations 6, 9 through 11, where all of the good people, they're in hell. The good souls there in hell begging the Messiah to let them out. And he says, you have to wait a little longer. And he gives them each a white robe. So all souls go to hell. And then when you're judged, you will be resurrected into the new earth. If you defeated the matrix of Sophia by getting your human avatar to turn away from all unclean cultures, whether straight, gay, bi or transgender. So the majority of straight people, gay people, bisexual people and transgender people have no idea that they are souls living inside of a human avatar, which means they're not straight, they're not gay, they're not bisexual, and they're not transgender because they're not a human. They are a soul inside of a human avatar. And all human avatars were created by the defect. Y'all the bay off. Not Eve, but Seth and Cain both come from Eve and from Adam and from God of Darkness. So we're, um, what are we? We are Nephilim. We're Nephilim. We're half demon. All human avatars are half demon, half human, because Eve is good and Adam was a demon. Also, Cain comes from God of Darkness. God of Darkness raped Eve. And when he raped Eve, she produced Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel do not come from Adam. Seth, the third son of Eve, comes from Adam. And Seth was born after Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge, which allowed his bloodline to um, become the 12 tribes of Israel with the tree of knowledge in their bloodline. Then Cain had children too. But unfortunately, Noah married Cain's great, 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 great granddaughter named Nema, which means all three of Cain's sons, Ham, Japheth, and Shem, all have Cain's bloodline mixed in. But the 12 tribes hadn't been born into the world yet. Um, so that's why Esau and Jacob is where the 12 tribes split. But again, the 12, the Bible says in Yahuwah's laws that we Hebrews are not supposed to hate our Edomite brothers, which are the white people. So. <sighs> you will only find this information in the Nag Hammadi. None of your churches are going to teach you this information because the churches have to teach what the Illuminati tells them to teach. They can't go off and start teaching their own thing or else they'll be heavily taxed. They have a tax code they have to follow. Just like your elementary school teachers and high school teachers and college professors, they can't just teach whatever they want. They have to follow a curriculum that was given to them.
So your church have to follow the curriculum that was given to them. Your pastor gets paid $50,000 to $250,000 or more to teach you what he was given from the Illuminati as a curriculum to keep people lost. And if you stay lost, you're not going to escape hell. You, the soul living inside of a human avatar. So now it is your choice as the soul living inside of a human avatar to decide, are you going to allow your soul to continue to part partake in all of the Hollywood Illuminati cultures, whether it's the gay culture or the straight strip club and porn culture and the hip hop um, immoral music culture or um, witchcraft culture or eating unclean food culture or just um, just being a partier and drinking and um, drinking out of control, being a drunkard and um, not even caring about your body um, and doing all kinds of drugs, not caring about yourself. Just letting your avatar partake in all of the darkness and not seek the light at all and cleanse from it at all. You're going to lose the game. So being gay is not a sin. Being straight is not a sin, but for a gay person or a straight person to have sexual, um, sexual, um, having sexual relationships with anybody or any animal is a sin. If you are not married to the human who you are having sexual relationships with and that human is not of the opposite sex, it's a sin for your avatar and you, the soul, will face judgment and be punished if you allowed your soul, I um, mean, if, if you allowed your avatar to partake in unclean living, whether you are straight, gay, or bi. If you don't care about your soul surviving hell and defeating hell and living on a new earth, fine. I'm not hating on you. Do whatever you want. But if you want to live on the new earth, you can't be partaking in any kind of sexual acts with your mother, your stepmother. You're not supposed to have sex with your sister. You're not supposed to have sex with your half sister. You're not supposed to have sexual relationships with your granddaughter. You're, whether it's your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter. You're not supposed to have sexual relationships with your daughter. A man must not marry a woman and her daughter. A man must not marry a woman and her son's daughter. A man must not marry a woman and her daughter's daughter. A man must not have sexual relations with his father's sister, your auntie, or your mother's sister, your auntie. Your father, um, you must not have sexual relationships with his father's brother's wife. So you're not supposed to have sex with your uncle's wife, even though she's not blood. Well, she's married to your uncle anyway. But this is what people, these are the things people, straight people were doing and still do because they nasty trying to focus on gay people. All people, all avatars need to walk in the light. Now here, a man must not have sexual relations with an animal. Why were these laws created? Because as I showed you, it's legal to have sex with animals in the United States. It is legal for people to have sex with with animals in Hawaii, Kentucky, Nevada, New Mexico, Ohio, Texas, Vermont, West Virginia, and in the District Columbia. Wait, while five states and the District Columbia have decriminalized it due to repeal of sodomy laws. Yes, so the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. You can have sex with animals in Washington, D.C. And there's lots of porn with people having sex with animals. Horses, goats, pigs, chicken, not chickens, goose, geese. People are filthy. Or I should say human avatars. And it's legal to have sex with animals in Europe, too. It's legal to have sex with animals in the country of Hungary, the country of Finland, and in Romania are now the only EU countries where bestiality or zoophilia is legal. But it used to be legal all over Europe. So, 
a man must not have sexual relations with an animal and a woman must not have sexual relations with an animal. A man must not have sexual relations with another man. A man must not have sexual relations with a woman betrothed to another man. That means if a woman's married, you're not supposed to be lusting for her or having sex with her. You're committing an abomination, straight person or straight man or straight woman. The next one, 352. A man must not lust after a woman forbidden to him. So that means if a woman is married, you're not supposed to be lusting for her. If a woman is not married for to you, you're not supposed to be lusting for her, straight man. If uh, if you're not supposed to be lusting for your fine, fine, fine cousin or your fine, fine sister-in-law, your brother's wife. You're not supposed to be lusting for her or else you're committing a sin. Next 353. A man must not have sexual relations with a woman until he is lawfully acquired her in marriage. And a lot of Hebrews are like saying sex equals marriage. No, you have to have a legal um, ceremony according to Bible laws. That's what your marriage is. So every church says people don't have to follow the 613 laws. And these sinful relationships, sexual relationships, they're part of the 613 laws. But your church will go after gay people. But not tell straight people how they're supposed to live or while your pastor's going around sleeping around with people in the church and getting your money lying to you, saying you've been saved, not telling you every soul goes to hell and that you're not even a human. You're an avatar. You're a soul inside of an avatar. So it's not a sin to be attracted to somebody. If you have a beautiful cousin, of course, you see that she's beautiful. But you're not supposed to say, dang, I wish I could have sex with my cousin and start visualizing it in your head for two minutes or five minutes or every time you see her or when you go home and then you masturbate thinking about it. That is a sin. Just like it's not a sin to see that you have a cousin who's a football player and he's all buffed and you're a man and you look up to him and you're like, man, my cousin is a handsome man. But that doesn't mean you're supposed to have sexual thoughts about him. That's lust. And that's when it becomes a sin. Lusting for someone or having sexual relationships with them. Just noticing somebody's attractive doesn't make you sinner. So, having sex really is not important unless you are married and you want to produce children. We have too many kids out here who don't have parents or whose parents are not taking care of them. A lot of home, a lot of men leave the women to take care of the kids by themselves, especially in the Hebrew communities and around the world. So, being gay, straight, bi or transgender and straight um, and um, single, you shouldn't be focused on sex if you want to walk in the light. I used to have sex so much and watch porn so much, but I haven't had sex since 2016 and I haven't watched porn since February 5th, 2019 because I documented every time I would watch porn and I hated how I felt after. And then in 2019, I downloaded a porn blocker app for my phone and my tablet and I wasn't able to watch porn anymore. And then after that app didn't work anymore, I never wanted to go on Google or search for um, porn or anything sexual after. And I stopped listening to sexual music also. And I stopped watching Empire and other TV shows that had gay sex or too much straight sex or bisexual sex, including Black Lightning. And I stopped watching all Tyler Perry t TV shows because there's too much gay sex and too much bisexual sex and too much straight sex. And I stopped listening to almost all hip hop, but I'll listen to hip hop instrumentals. If I like a hip hop song, and the lyrics are too sexual or immoral, I'll go on Google or YouTube and I'll find the instrumental. Almost every good hip hop song has an instrumental version. And since I'm a lyricist and rapper and singer and music producer, I like making my own lyrics or creating my own lyrics to popular hip hop instrumentals. So, um, to defeat the darkness and calm your sexual addiction down, and to defeat porn, you have to stop entertaining or allowing your avatar to entertain itself with the immoral music and the immoral TV shows and unclean living that Satan and the Illuminati promote to all avatars so that the souls can not control their avatar and get their avatar to reject the darkness so that the soul can defeat hell.
don't get stuck in the matrix of Sophia. Also, if you want to control your avatar and you, the soul, wants to escape hell to live on the amazing new earth after this earth is destroyed, which should be around 2024 after the human microchip starts in 2022 due to COVID-19 and germs on cash money and in the air. Um, if you want to survive hell and enter the new earth, you will have to cleanse from the darkness by following Yahoo's 613 laws list. Just Google 613 laws and then cleanse from the darkness by doing the weekly Sabbath, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. And if uh, before 2022, you need to be cleansing and then you need to get baptized in the name of King Yahua, King Yahusha and the Ruach Holy Spirit. And when you do your baptism, you need to have two witnesses. They can be watching you on video on chat on your phone. And you must do your baptism in living water, like an ocean, bay, pond, or lake at a campground. And before you do your baptism, pray to Unbegotten Father in the name of King Yahusha. When you get ready to pray to Unbegotten Father, you come to him using the name King Yahusha because Yahusha is your blood advocate. And he opens the door leading you to Unbegotten Father. And that will help you get your avatar on the right track. But if you're straight, gay, bisexual, or transgender, and you're not trying to cleanse from the darkness and stop partaking in all these Illuminati cultures and lifestyles, you will not be able to control your avatar. You are not straight. You are not bisexual. You are not gay. You are not transgender. You are a soul inside of an avatar that the Illuminati calls a human. But they're actually demons, demon avatars created by God of darkness. And you're a soul inside of it that needs to control it as a, um, what is it called? A therapist. If you want to escape hell and live on a new earth, you have to develop a relationship with unbegotten father. And you develop that relationship by following King Yahusha, the Messiah's information and instructions from Matthew 22, 34. I mean, Matthew 22, verse 37 through 40. Google it. I'm not going to show you all of the Bible verses. You have to put in some work. And you have to Google Yahuwah 613 laws and follow the ones that apply to you. You do not have to follow all 613 laws. You, have, you follow less than 365 of them. And they all just teach you how to be kind and loving and not to be cruel to people and not cheat people out of money and how to run your business and how to treat your family members and how to forgive people, but keep walking in the light. You forgive them, but you don't have to keep on hanging out with them. Just wish them the best. And if you see them face to face, say hello and wish them the best. Leave all judgment to unbegotten father. Now, as for me, I was bisexual since I was in the fifth, not in the fifth grade, since I was five years old. I had crushes on boys and girls. I had a definite definite crush on a boy named Bao when I was in the third grade and I had a strong crush on this girl named Utopia when I was in the third grade and I kissed her on the back of the bus in the back seat not tongue kissing just kissed her and she was Filipino and black I'm from San Francisco so there's a lot of Filipinos and blacks and Chinese um oh she was so fine but I liked Bao too he was I think Vietnamese and ever since elementary school, I always had crushes on boys and girls. But I had some encounters with some of my guy friends when I was in elementary school and then in junior high school. And then growing up in San Francisco, the gay culture was so strong. And I, I was engaged to a girl at age 19. Um, but when we broke up, Actually, I broke up with her because I was Jehovah's Witness and I was engaged to a Jehovah's Witness. But she was scratching herself and making herself bleed when she was depressed. And it was just too stressful for me. And then I found out Lark Voorhees from Saved by the Bell had gotten baptized as a Jehovah's Witness. And that made me start lusting for Lark Voorhees. Lord have mercy. This was in 1993. And I got this fellowship as a Jehovah's Witness and ended up going to a gay um, drag queen bar and I went down a rabbit hole 
because I met somebody there and he ended up being the director of the dance dancers at this very popular um, gay and lesbian club called The Box on the Visadero in San Francisco. And it was packed and it was so much fun. And since I wanted to be a pop star, I got pulled in from 1994 until 19, I mean, until 2016. And I became a witch in 2016 to defeat Satan and the Illuminati because I found out I couldn't become a pop star and be on the Grammys or on the radio unless I joined this group of people called the Illuminati who did witchcraft and worship Satan. So I was like, well, I'm going to become a good witch and defeat them. And I got all the witchcraft stuff and I didn't know it was satanic and playing around with that mess. Satan ended up in my house. Baphomet, who all of the Illuminati worships. And he was not being mean. He was pretty much trying to be my friend. And I got so angry because growing up with Jehovah's Witness, I heard about Satan, but I didn't know if he, it was real. But the witchcraft let me know Satan was real. And since 2016 to 2018, I sought the light. And I've discovered Unbegotten Father, King Yahusha, Queen Wisdom, and King Yahua. And pretty much ever since 2017, I have been doing the Sabbath. And I got baptized in the name of Yahua, Yahusha, and the Ruach, Holy Spirit. And um, in 2019, I discovered the Nag Hammadi. And that's how I learned about Unbegotten Father and God of Darkness and Queen Wisdom. And I learned th that the Bible is a trick if you don't use the Nag Hammadi. And I learned that all these people who saying that they're saved, that they're actually all going to hell. Everybody's going to hell. We all have to be judged, but I know how to escape hell. And that's what I'm here to help you do if you want to also. So all Christians and all humans, their souls are going to hell. That's why you must cleanse your avatar before you, the soul, goes to hell. And don't fear dying on this earth because you will be resurrected into the new earth. And that's why the Messiah, Yahusha, not Jesus, Yahusha said, don't fear the one who can kill your body. Fear the one who can kill your body and soul in hell. And the only one who can kill your body and soul in hell is Yahusha, the one who says at Matthew 22, 37 through 40, to love all people as you love yourself and be loving and kind and forgiving. He said, be kind and loving, forgiving and to live a clean life. And then he'll let you out of hell and let you live on his new earth. But if you want to allow your avatar to live in the unclean cultures, that's your choice, soul. That's your soul. That's your choice, soul inside of the avatar. But when you, the soul, goes to hell, you're not getting out. Believe it or not, I don't care. I'm actually trying to help you. I'm not judging you because I don't know what culture you live in. But all these cultures of this world were created by the darkness to keep us souls drunk and stuck in the Matrix of Sophia. That's what the movie The Matrix is, Matrix is talking about. When um, Morpheus tells Neo, most of these people will not want to be unplugged from the Matrix because they, are, they depend on this. They love all the fame and all the riches and lusting for lotteries and going to Vegas, hoping to win the jackpot and having all the sexual experiences and stuff. But all souls go to hell, even the good souls. And at Revelation 6, 9 through 11, it says, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of King Yahuwah and for the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice to King Yahusha. How long, Yahusha? How long, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of earth and avenge our blood? So they're in hell begging for all the wicked people to be punished so that they can be let out of hell. And then King Yahusha says, then each of them were given a white robe from Yahusha and they were told to wait a little longer until the full number full number of their fellow servants their brothers and sisters were killed k i l l e d just as they had been 
Why were they killed? They were killed because they had been given, they had been slain because of, I'm sorry. They had been slain because of the word of Yahuwah and the testimony they had maintained. So the people who are following King Yahweh and King Yahusha, we have to be killed. And then the people who follow King Yahusha and King Yahuwah who are stuck in hell right now, those souls, that's when they'll be let out to live on the new earth. So all these Christians think they're going to heaven or they're going to be raptured away. They've been taught lies. The Bible don't say nothing about most Christians or humans being saved. It says some people will be raptured away, but those are the chosen ones. And we're going to live on a new earth. We're not going to heaven. So they don't even make no sense. They can't even back up what they say. But I can back up over and over that everybody's going to hell. And also, the ones, the 144,000 who rule and judge all who are in hell when the new earth begins, when Satan's in the abyss, they all get beheaded before their souls are resurrected and they sit on the throne with King Yahusha and judge. So, do you want to have one death and two lives? That Yahusha offers or do you want to have one life and two deaths the death of your human avatar and the death of your soul if you join Yahusha Yahusha will protect your human avatar and when you are become when you become a martyr Yahusha will protect your soul in hell because if your soul soul is not protected in hell it's going to be like living in the movie saw or in the movie hostile or like living in big brother or the amazing race and um survivor those tv shows all combined with um hostile and saw and living it over and over like groundhog's day and yahusha is not going to protect your soul it's going to be horrible and you're not going to be able to escape there's four sections of hell and that's in Enoch chapter 22, verse 1 through 15. In the book of Enoch, chapter 22, verse 1 through 15, another book that the Roman Catholic Illuminati, who controls Christianity and Islam, said that the book is not important. The book of Enoch, chapter 22, verse 1 through 15, um, Enoch, the son, um, the, the, grand, the great grandfather of Noah, he is taken into hell by an angel and he sees that there's four di different sections of hell and the good souls are in a nice part of hell but everybody else is in a bad part of hell and some of those souls in hell are going to be destroyed after new earth begins and then others are going to be stuck in hell for all eternity and Abel, Cain's brother, is in hell, the soul and he's screaming up to the heavens begging for Cain's bloodline to pay. So if Abel's soul is in hell, all souls are in hell. Noah's soul, Moses' soul, um, Mary, the Messiah's mother's, her soul's in hell. Every good person's soul is in hell, but they're in a good section of hell. And that's in the book of Enoch, chapter 22, verse 1 through 15. And who's protecting them in hell? Yahusha. The one who said he is the one who can kill your body and kill your soul in hell. He didn't say nothing about sending you to heaven. And Revelations chapter 20 verse 4 says Yahushua rules on a new earth with the ones who have been beheaded. So it doesn't say go to heaven. It says the new earth. So Christianity teaches you guys lies and people pay them. So being gay or being bisexual is not a sin. Being attracted to somebody of the opposite or the same sex is not a sin. Having sexual relationships with them is a sin. So if you're a man and you find other men attractive, that's just letting you know that your X and Y gene are imbalanced. But that does not mean you need to lust for another man or have sex with another man once you learn about the light and the truth, okay? Same for a lesbian or bisexual girl. Same for a straight person. If you're single, you don't need to be watching porn. You don't need to be masturbating to porn. And you do not need to be having sex with any woman. Because you're not married to her. And you're not supposed to have sex with your girlfriend either. Sex is for married couples. Of the opposite sex. If you want to defeat the Matrix and escape hell. When your soul goes there. That's all I'm saying, okay? If you don't care about that, do whatever you want. Live however immoral you want to live.
but I promise you, you are not straight, bi, gay, or transgender. You are a soul inside of a human avatar. And the only reason why transgender exists is because the Illuminati created plastic surgery to perform transgender operations. Okay, so now, if you ever woke up in the middle of the morning or in the morning and you couldn't move and it felt like a demon was pressing you into your bed and it hurts and you can't move at all or move your mouth, that is your soul actually getting back inside your body. That's you getting back into your avatar. When your avatar is sleeping, you're not inside your avatar. Your soul leaves. And sometimes when your soul is getting back into the avatar, the avatar will awaken or wake up, but it can't move. And then the avatar gets scared because it doesn't know what's going on. And you can feel the pain because you're getting back into the avatar. But that's really you jumping into the avatar. That's not a demon attack. So let's read this information. I made this chart talking about the soul versus Satan. We're going to read the, the black words first on the left. So, you, the soul, are wide awake. So, when your avatar is asleep, you, the soul, are wide awake. Your human avatar is asleep for six to ten hours, resting for tomorrow's daily competition versus Satan. So, when you wake up, that's when you start um, competing against Satan each morning. And once you learn about the light and the darkness and you cleanse from the darkness, you need to compete against Satan and win every morning. Every morning that your avatar is awake and through the afternoon and at night before your avatar goes to sleep, you need to have defeated Satan in the competition again. It's the playoffs. You're not in the championships yet. You need to be beating him in every playoff game every morning. Every morning is a new playoff game. So let's continue reading. This is when, when, you, when your avatar wakes up. This is when an immortal soul, oh no, when your avatar is sleeping. This is when an immortal soul leaves the human avatar and meets with Yahuwah each night until 3 a.m. The soul is wide awake and active and makes plans on how it will defeat Satan more, even more, the next day in its human avatar, which is when the soul goes into a competition in a dream simulation that feels and seems real. Unclean souls cannot connect to Yahuwah in the, um, when the avatar is asleep, pretty much. So that's the end of the, those black words there on the left. So when your avatar wakes up, you're actually dreaming. And the way to understand that is the TV show Island. I land and also the movie Avatar and what a oh the cell with Jennifer Lopez when she goes inside a um a serial killer's mind and then she starts thinking that what she's seeing in the serial killer's mind is real but it's a simulation and then Satan gets her and if she doesn't figure that Satan is fake inside the simulation, she's going to get stuck inside of the serial killer's brain. Just like us. If we don't figure out how to defeat Satan while living inside these avatars and we join Satan, we're going to get stuck and not be able to cleanse. And when our avatar dies, we, the soul, going to get stuck in hell. But if you defeat Satan in this simulation on this earth, when your avatar is awake each morning, Defeat Satan each and every day so that when your avatar dies and you go to hell, Yahushua is going to say, you did such a good job in your avatar, you're going to be let out of hell. Just like in people's court or divorce court. You want the judge to see you as a good soul, not as a stupid, dumb soul who allowed your avatar to live as a dumb, lustful, evil, wicked idiot. Because the judge is going to look at you and be like, you ain't getting out of hell. Everything that all of us do is recorded. Don't think that you have no secrets. See, I don't have no secrets. I don't hide nothing. I don't. I'm, I like walking in the light. And I know the Illuminati ain't got nothing on me because they can see everything we do. But more than that, unbegotten father, King Yahusha, Queen Wisdom and King Yahuwah, they can see everything that you do. 
24 7 and they can know they know what you think in your mind when you're just thinking quietly so if you're if you want to molest children or you think about raping people or you think about robbing people just in your mind and don't tell anybody unbegotten father they already know what you're thinking in your head and satan knows too because if you're if you're playing around with satan he tells on you he's a tattletale because he doesn't like you he just wants to get you in trouble so that your soul gets stuck in hell that's what his job is so let's read the red words now. Um, but before reading the red words on the right, let's look at the black words above the red words where it says when waking up. So when your avatar wakes up, a scary and painful sleep paralysis often happens before you can move in your human avatar. It's not a demon attack. It's your transformation. So, again, as I said, when your avatar is sleeping, the soul leaves. And if you're a good soul, you can go connect to Yahuwah and Unbegotten Father in the heavens of the light and get more mission information. But if you're an unclean soul, you just wander. And then when your avatar is about to wake up, you get back inside. But your avatar cannot move if you're not inside. Just like when a human body dies, the soul leaves and the human body can't move anymore. So you are the battery. You are the energy. You are the electricity for your human avatar. Without you, your human avatar is just a robot with no batteries. So let's read the red letters or red words. You, when the avatar wakes up, you, the soul, are now dreaming. You're in a simulation. Your human avatar is awake. Your dream is a competition versus Satan, and it lasts 14 to 16 hours each day. You need to win each day or you will get stuck in hell. After the human avatar sleeps six to 10 hours, the soul re-enters its human avatar. It may feel painful, but it is not a demon attack. The soul begins to dream and compete with Satan as soon as the human avatar wakes up and can move. And the soul must score points versus Satan in its dream competition, which is a 14 to 16 hour dream daily inside of its human avatar daily from morning to evening. The soul must defeat Satan. So. That's what the mission is. The mission is it doesn't matter if your human avatar is straight, gay by or if it feels like it's transgender you're not the human avatar you are the therapist soul living inside of the human avatar and no matter what sexual culture it thinks it's from you must convince it to walk in the light and reject all cultures and lifestyles from the darkness if you allow your avatar to become addicted to sex or stay addicted to sexual lifestyles and cultures and porn, you, the soul, are not going to escape hell. If you don't care about escaping hell, do whatever you want and don't call me a hater. I'm a lover and all I want to do is help souls live on the new earth. Join the light of unbegotten father, King Yahusha, Queen Wisdom and King Yahuwah. If you're gay and you don't want to partake in sexual um, lust and um, continue watching porn, or if you're straight or bi and you don't want to continue being addicted to sex and porn, pray to Unbegotten Father and come to Unbegotten Father using the name of King Yahusha. And repent to Unbegotten Father and tell him that you want to walk in King Yahusha's instructions and in King Yahuwah's instructions and Queen Yahush uh, and Queen Wisdom's instructions, and that you um, you want to walk in the light, and that now that you know the light, you want to reject the darkness of your past that you allowed your avatar to partake in, and then do the weekly Sabbath. And wait before. Talking about Sabbath. When you end your prayer, just say, I end this prayer or conversation saying all praise to the unbegotten father, the preexistent father of the heavens, of the light of the universe, who I love with all my heart, all my soul, all my strength and all my mind for all eternity and who I am one with for all eternity. 
in your prayer like that. Don't say amen. That's Illuminati stuff. So then do the weekly Sabbath from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That means no working, no cooking, no cleaning, just celebrating the light, watching information and videos and movies that um, share the light of King Yahusha. If it says Jesus in the movie, that's fine. Just listen to the um, message in the movie. And if it's going to be white Jesus, most likely it will be. Listen to the message because Yahuwah controls the light and the darkness. So he's allowed the message to be in the movies, even though the Illuminati used the white image. So you can watch movies on YouTube and watch movies on Netflix and Amazon. And you can watch AD the Bible continues on net um, on Amazon Prime. You got to download it for $19, but it's 12 episodes and they have black Hebrews. A lot of black Hebrews and they have black um, men in the 12 apostles and Mary Magdalene, who is the only female apostle. She's black in AD. The Bible continues also. So that's very important because it confirms that black Americans from the slave bloodlines are Hebrews from the tribe of Judah. We've been under a 400 year witchcraft, slave and oppression curse from 1619 to 2019. And we are from the tribe of the Messiah, the Savior, Yahusha. New Earth shall begin around 2024, which is actually the year 6000, because the Messiah was born on the year one. But there was many years before that, obviously. So from the year one to 2024. So from the year Yahushua was born, the Messiah to 2024, that's 2024 years. And before Yahushua was born, we were far past the year 3000. So if you add Yahusha's a birth in 2024 with all the years from Queen Cleopatra all the way back to Adam, you'll get to around the year 6000 in 2024. And the Messiah must rule from the year 6000 to the year 7000, the sixth day to the seventh day, because we rest on the seventh day the Sabbath. So from the sixth day to the seventh day, because to um, King Yahuwah, um, a thousand years is like a day. Okay. So from the sixth day to the seventh day, year 6,000 to 7,000, King Yahusha and the 144,000 must rule um, the new earth while Satan's in the abyss and the Illuminati is annihilated. And that's from the year 2024 to year 3024. One other thing about 2024 being the year 6,000. COVID-19 is caused by the Ruach and her Holy Spirit gamma radiation. It's the reparations for the last 400 years of the slavery and oppression of the Hebrews from the tribe of Judah in the USA. And COVID-19 um, will cause all cash money around the world to be considered full of germs. So the best thing to do is to use our debit cards, which have microchips, but they won't be able to do contact tracing and they won't be able to use it as an ID and to um, keep watch of criminals and things like that for the new Illuminati laws. So that is why the human microchip will be implemented. But it is the final piece of the mark of the beast. So you must not accept the human microchip because they will tell us we can't do the Sabbath or else they will turn our chip off. So don't get the microchip. Don't fear death. Fear the one who can kill your body and soul in hell, and that is Yahusha. The human microchip can easily be ready by 2022 and 2023. As soon as the vaccine is ready for COVID-19 for the whole world <clears throat> in 2021 and 2022. In the light of unbegotten father, King Yahusha and Queen Wisdom and cleanse from the darkness so that you, the soul, can live on a new earth and actually live the happy, joyful, amazing life that you actually never thought you can have with the earth that's not polluted with evilness or pollution or wickedness or uncleanliness. There won't be wicked governments controlling the world or anything. It'll be all peaceful, loving, and festive. Fun, happy energy. Not boring, not dull. Exciting and festive for all eternity.